Hey, this isn't your laundry night. I know, laundry on a Wednesday. It's a madness my life has become. Why is a sleep talking thing bothering you anyway? It's simple. I don't like the idea that my mind might be keeping an entire personality from me. You know, Dr. Jekyll's other personality was Mr. Hyde. Mr. Hyde didn't have a postgraduate degree. <laughs> Is it possible that you're stressed because you're scared about getting married? I mean, it is a big change, and you're not good with little changes. Well, that's nonsense. You name one little change I was upset with. Uh, when they changed the green Skittle from lime to apple? That is not the rainbow I grew up tasting. All right, fine, let's start over. Is it possible that the sleep talking is a part of your brain that's telling you everything's gonna be okay and you just need to relax a little? So you're proposing that the self is an illusion and that we actually have multiple centers of consciousness that are communicating with one another? In layman's terms, yeah. Huh, interesting. So you don't believe there's a Cartesian self that underlies the flux of experience? Maybe in my 20s, not anymore. Okay. Well, assuming you're right, what would you suggest I do? Well, I would start with something small. See if it makes your life any better. Um, you could learn to meditate, take a yoga class. You know, I have always been intrigued by flip-flops. <laughs> the official footwear of the laid-back fellow. Okay, sure. Of course, if my feet are gonna be exposed, I'll need to update my tetanus booster. Oh, yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. And while I'm there, I may as well get a flu shot and a mole check. Sure. You know, I've never had a mole check. Oof. Well, it's been nice knowing you.